Hello and welcome to part 8. Now in this video I want to start recreating the hand animations for the full body mesh now that we've gotten rid of the uh, hands from the VR template. Now in order to do this we need a relaxed hand pose and a pose where the hands are f uh, in a fist or grabbing position. The tool I'm going to be using here is Motion Builder. Uh, Motion Builder is something you can download for free if you are under education or studying Motion Builder. And I'm using 2016 for this. So depending on what, what version you're going to be using, things are maybe going to be a little bit different for you. But the techniques are going to be the same. So the relaxed hand pose we can easily get from the same file that we created in the first video of this series. That's going to be the SK Mannequin, which is in the T pose. So just import that and overwrite. And make sure here you select the SK Mannequin skeleton. And you want to use T0 as reference pose. And you don't want to create a physics asset, but you do want to import animations. Uh, you don't want, want any of the materials or textures, so now hit import. And that's going to create a little animation here. So rename this to hand relaxed. And as you can see, this is the relaxed hand pose that we want. So save that. And then the rest of the what we're going to be doing in this video is going to happen inside Motion Builder. So I switch to that. Before we do anything else, we want I want you to go ahead and download a file which I have here. It's called um, SK Mannequin IPI MB UE4. It's a file FBX file that I created during one of my previous tutorials called Push Button Tutorial, uh, where I show how to create this file here. Uh, if you don't want to go and recreate that right now, I'm going to put uh, a link in the description where you can download this file here. So once you have that file downloaded, you want to open that up. I have it located here. So just hit open. And then we want to start posing the hands in the fist. I like to do this on the skeleton itself. So with this file here, uh, I just want to mention that it comes in with uh, an IPI character and a UE4 character. The reason for this is that I made this uh, with the SK Mannequin in order to transfer animation from IPI soft into Motion Builder and then from Motion Builder into UE4. And since I used the SK Mannequin, uh, this works equally well for taking an animation from UE4 and bringing that into UE, uh, Motion Builder and then back to UE4. So double click the UE4 SK Mannequin character and then plot this to our skeleton. Under the scene here, we're going to expand that and find the UE4 SK Mannequin. We have a few other skeletons here, but we're not going to worry about them right now. Um, so expand that and keep expanding until you get to the one of the hands. So I'm going to pick the left hand here. And then we're going to start posing the hands. So you want to uh, click the rotate tool or press E on your keyboard and make sure you are in local space. And I'm going to start from the index finger. If you haven't done this before, it's a good idea to try and make a fist yourself and see if you can determine the angle of the each of the joints on your hand. Uh, look at it from the side like this and see if you can Post the hand in that same way. So I'm mainly going to be rotating on the, I believe it's the 
z-axis here um, and I'm in global space right now I want to be in local so bend it down something like this and take the next joint Oops. You want to keep rotating so you, you can see how the hand is looking. Let's go on to the middle finger. Then the ring finger. And then the pinky. So you might notice that the fingers are a little bit clamped together or something. So you want to co collapse all the joints here again and see if you can take them apart a little bit. Something like this maybe. And generally just look at the hand and see if it looks correct. So I believe this looks a little bit better. I would probably st still spend a little bit more time, but I think I'm going to do that off video. So the thumb, when you have your hand like this and you make a fist, then the first joint here is going to move towards the, the other fingers here, and then it's going to curl up. Um, so you want to take the first joint here and push it towards the other fingers. So I'm going to click in the middle here, uh, that's just easier for me, I think. Something like this. And then the next joint is just going to be something like this. Let's say we're happy with this. I would spend some more time on this, most probably. Um, so from here on, you want to create a, a new layer here, and then you want to select your hand here and select branches. This is going to select all the joints underneath here. So you want to press the button saying key, and that's going to create a key here at the beginning here. So it's just going to make sure that the hand stays in place. So we want to create the same pose on the other hand. And we can do that using the control rig pose tools. Um, so collapse everything in here and select your UE4 mannequin character under characters here. And then plot this to your control rig. Like that. So from here on, we're going to make sure that we are on the post tool tab here and I'm on full body right now. Make sure you have just one of the effects are selected. It doesn't matter which one, just as long as you have one of them selected and then click the plus here. 
it's going to create a pose here. So what we need to do now is to switch to body parts and then let's switch to the right hand. And then you will control drag so that you select both the IK and FK effectors here and also control click and get the rest uh, for the, the thumb. You do not want to select the hand itself. So from here on, you want to make sure that the mirror pose is on like this. So it's dark and then you double click the pose. That's going to bring the right hand in the same pose as the left hand. So from here on, I'm going to set a key or press the key button here and then shift select. So you have both layers selected here and merge this down. And then you are ready to plot this back to your skeleton like that. So from here on, we are actually done and we can export this animation. So motion file export and let's call this and closed. And we don't want to export all takes, only this take one that we are working on here. So select that and hit export. And then we can close this. The last step we're going to go here through here is to import that animation. So get the hand closed animation. Make sure to select the SK mannequin skeleton and import. So now we have two animations. We have one where the hands are in a fist and we have one where the hands are relaxed. And that is all we need to start creating a blend space for these, uh, which we're going to take a look at in the next video. So thank you for watching and see you in the next. Bye bye.